Hi guys, welcome to another video. It's been a quite a long time since I filmed a video. Um, mostly I've been kind of unmotivated. Um, just because like this pandemic continues. <laughs> um, yeah, I live in San Diego. Things are starting to open back up. Um, and then things kind of in a sense shut down again where like a lot of indoor activities were not allowed or like shut down so like the gym re-shut down the gym shut down open and then shut down um i think the gym was only open for like three weeks maybe um you know which is difficult um because honestly i like working out in the gym i don't like working out with a mask though so it's my the only downfall to that um yeah but um that hasn't really stopped me from doing things i'm working uh you guys know i'm a, a psychotherapist um pre-licensed psychotherapist in the state of california so if you're in the state of california and you need uh therapy um find me on psychology today and set up your appointment um i can work with anyone inside that risk is uh, physically um, located in the state of California so even if your residence is in a different state but you're staying in California with family for the next couple months you know I could work with you um, however if you're a resident of California but you're somewhere else for two months I can't work with you um, yeah that's just the law um, so I've kind of been working on my room um, you know, the last few videos I filmed it um, since we moved, this room has been in disarray. Um, it still is a little bit, but it's getting better. Um, if you guys remember this, um, I don't know if you'd see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, this dresser was here, um, which was not working for me because I do, um, I do virtual therapy or telehealth. Um, um, probably more than half the time. So um, this mirror was causing a glare. Um, like the, the light was reflecting on it and I had to put like something over it so it wouldn't do that and it didn't really look nice, I, I don't think. So we moved this over here. I used to have a white dresser that was very cheaply made. Um, my dad actually bought it for me a couple years ago because I needed more drawers for my clothes because I have a lot of clothes. I still have a lot of clothes even though I've given a lot away. Um, yeah, so, um, so I wanted, I didn't want the white one, basically. Um, I wanted something bigger, better, you know. Um, and we found this one. It's like a bureau, the one behind me. Well, it's not, it looks like a mirror, it's not, there's actually 12 drawers, um, which is really nice. It holds more clothes than I thought it would, because the drawers are smaller, um, you know, and not as deep as the white one. The white one was six drawers, but it was, like, bigger drawers and deeper, um, but I actually can fit a lot in here. Um, I have a clothes in here, too. This is kind of my makeshift closet in this room. We only have a closet in this room and our linen closet in the hallway. So we need all the storage space we can get. Um, yeah, um, there's a, I don't know if this was there, but there's a, a you can't, you can see the back of it, but my husband put a shelf up there for storage. Um, so those are things that I want to keep, but don't need, don't use every day. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. It's still kind of a work in progress, but it's better than it was. Um, I'm still <laughs> need to work on the space in front of me, um, too. And so all of, most of my makeup is here. Well, um, so my brushes, my lip products, some of my eyeshadow, my liners and mascara is all here. But I have like my eyeshadows and blushes back in these drawers, um, three drawers. Uh, this one's a junk drawer and these two are clothes. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to figure things out of what works in this space um, for how, however long we're going to be here, which hopefully we're going to be here until we can buy 
Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a collective haul. That was a long introduction. Um, yeah, I've acquired a lot of new stuff um, over th since the last time I filmed and maybe even a little bit before that. So I'm just going to get into it. Um, all these are new. Oh, okay, so I'm going to um, get into what I've acquired I know before and I don't think I talked about um, you guys know that I filmed a lip, lip science collection video um, I have acquired two more um, this is blush and this is coral reef coral reef is beautiful blush is um, I wasn't really in love with it it's kind of like um, some of the other lighter colors it doesn't it doesn't really show up on my lips um, for blush, even though it looks like it would be, um, it's a warm tone, so like it looks like it would show up because it's like a dark, like kind of a mauve, but I don't know if you can see that, um, but I don't know, I just can't get it to show up. I'm just, maybe I'll still work on it. Um, I've gotten into the shadow senses. I have five here. Um, Desert Rose, beautiful, beautiful color. Mocha Java is like always, it's like a staple. Um, Mauve Shimmer, Lime Shimmer, and Peaches. Um, so I am getting into the shadow senses. I actually really do like these. Um, so typically if I don't have, well I haven't really been wearing a whole lot of makeup. Um, but um, basically, if I just need, I just want a quick eyeshadow look without have to worrying about too much about like um, transition colors and, you know, make sure everything's blended in, you know, like these work great because they're so quick. I, you just dab it on the eye or you could take a um, uh, eyeshadow brush and like gets him off of the um, the wand and, and then put it on your eye like that or you just dab the doe foot applicator on your eye and then blend it in. You can blend it in with your fingers if you want. Um, these are great. Shadow Sense is great for quick um, eyeshadow application. Um, I'm sure you could um, go really in depth and take your time with it. You know, the, I don't have, like I have five shades here, two of them are very similar. Um, I you know, I'm pretty sure you, um, you can go in depth with it. Like you would, like you would a powder eyeshadow and just take your time with it and build everything up. Um, I haven't, that's not what I've been using it for. Maybe sometime, someday I'll get there. Um, I still love my drugstore and high-end um, powder eyeshadows, however, um, and I've acquired quite a few that, quite a few of them, and I haven't used any of them. So my next few videos are going to be like first impression review type videos. Um, yeah. So um, let me just move on. I'll show you the eyeshadows later, but first I want to go um, show you the concealers I got. I did get the Cynogen's Concealer, which I have tried once, um, along with the um, Unique um, Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. I've tried both of these once, and I did film a comparison video, but I didn't upload it. I want to give these another try, because I feel like it wasn't fair to either one of them. See, I have pretty dry under eyes so like I want to make sure my under eyes are very moist when I try these um and yeah because to be honest like that day like my under eyes were really dry and they both look horrible and um one of, they both kind of creased but one of them was more no noticeable of a crease like one of them like believe the unique you could only see it crease if like you pulled actually pulled down your your eye um actually looked um and I think the Cinegents one um you could see it creasing without pulling it down 
they both didn't look that flattering on me, honestly. Um, but I want to give it another try because I don't think I, I was fair to either one of these. Um, yeah. I got two drugstore concealers because I'm honestly, and I don't know, why did I get matte? What happened to this one? Oh boy. Um, oh, I know. Um, so my Ulta is open. It's like five, ten minutes away from my house. Um, there's an Ulta near me where I used to live too. Um, but, um, yeah, so I ran once I knew Ulta was open. Um, I ran to Ulta and bought, um, this, um, Essence Camouflage Concealer. Um, it's waterproof. Um, it's kind of like, kind of melted because, um, I also got a her, um, nail polish remover, 100% acetone, and it leaked in the bag while this was in there, so that side kind of gr gross, and I was like wondering what happened, and now I remember. I haven't tried this yet. I also got the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. Um, and I, this haven't even opened it yet. So I need to try those. Um, I don't know. Ooh, next. Um, I got the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I've always wanted this. Um, I know I'm late to the game because I have the highlighter, but I don't, I didn't have the bronzer because when I bought a lot of, um, Physician's Formula products last year, they were out of the bronzer, so I picked this up. Um, this I found at the Dollar Tree, honestly. It's the, um, Hard Candy, um, Glow All The Way Hula Hula Bronzer. Um, and, yeah, I just got this yesterday, to be honest, um, and I was really surprised to find this at Dollar Tree because I don't know how often Hard Candy, um, stuff. Um, ends up at Dollar Tree, but, yeah, so let's, let's open this. This is going to be, yeah, this would not work as a contour, and this would be, um, like, this is more of a shimmer bronzer, um, um, and, yeah, so, um, if you're deeper skin, you could probably even use it as a highlight, um, yeah, so, yep. Overwhelmed with all the things I got. Um, I got the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air um, palette. I've never gotten these 1010 palettes before. I know they've been out for a while. I did try this and I really liked it. It's like their other, um, their, their trios, their old trios that they don't have anymore. I, st I have it in a, I think I do potted a lot of them and they're in a Z palette. Um, which I should break out and start using. Um, okay. I got a lot of things. I got a few things from Mercari, um, just because it's cheaper on there, especially for high-end makeup. Um, I got the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. These are gorgeous warm tone colors. Um, like, yeah, I haven't even used this yet. Um, I got that on Merc Mercari. Um, come on, dude. Um, I got a few beach, a couple beach cosmetics palettes. This one is the Sylvia Ghani Beauty Palette. Um, that's what it looks like. There's a lot of shimmer in here. There's mattes and shimmers, it looks like. Um... Maybe even some metallics. I don't even know. I haven't used this yet, but it looks gorgeous. That's why I got it. Um, ooh. Oh. 
Okay. So I just accidentally swatched Libra, which is this big color right here. Can you see that? Um, and <laughs> accidentally swatched it. And uh, this is a weird angle, but it's right here. I don't know if you could see that or not. I don't know what you can see, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think you can see the reflection. Sorry, my phone is my viewfinder. <laughs> And then I got this one, which is um, Beach Cosmetics Fairy, Fairy Lights Palette. I believe this was limited edition. Um, had some fun um, colors in here, so that's why I got that. Um, I also got the um, Revolution deep dive palette um this was this is like blues and greens there's one purple in there um but yeah it that looks really pretty so i'm excited to try that <sighs> um this one is um i got a blush and i got this from a, the brand c bella or say bella i don't know how to pronounce it i should know how to pronounce it this is in the shade um peony um, now, Cibella or Cibella is made by Melaleuca. Um, I have been a Melaleuca customer for going on three years now, and I love their products. I have not really tried much of their makeup, though, and I'm trying to figure out how to open this. There we go. So, that's very pretty. Um... That looks like it'll be very pretty on the cheeks, I think. If you blend it out. Um, yeah. Um, okay. I also, from Mercari, I got the Stila All Fired Up Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. Um, this is sun, has Sunset Fire, Follow the Sun, and burnish sienna um i wanted to compare it to um the shadow scents i don't think i've tried it tried it yet though so um i'll do i don't even know if i have a similar color though that's the thing um i might so this middle one could um be close to lime shimmer so yeah i might um yeah so i'll have to play with that and then um i also got this in mercury this is the steel steel all day liquid lipstick in angelo i wanted to compare this to the lip scents because i was just trying to see is there anything that lasts as long as the lip scents and i I googled it. I'm all like long lasting liquid lipstick. Um, and this did not stay on all day. Um, it did come off when I eat. Um, the lip scents, um, if as long as I apply gloss, the gloss before I eat, it, it does not typically come off. It might break down a little bit, but it won't come off. And so I, I also bought a, lots of things from um, Shein. Um, I also bought some shorts from there that I haven't tried on, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, I want to do a review, first impression kind of thing on Shein makeup. Um, so that'll be one of my next videos. Um, yeah, so I got the Liquid Velvet Lip Gla Glaze, um, this is in the shade Bare Pink, so it's pretty, um, I got the Long Lasting Waterproof Lip Liner and Petal Rose, okay, these aren't open, I'm not going to look at these, but that's what it is. 
And I'll see this when I do the review. I'll hold them up. I got the She Glam Perfect Curling Mascara in Classic Black. I don't know if this is supposed to be waterproof or not. Um, and then I got Dazzling Star Eyeliner in black. Um, face Palette Powder. I guess that's powder. Oh, I got two of these. Okay, so one of these is... Okay, so this is a highlight and this is blush. The packaging looks exactly the same. The only way I know the difference is because the back. Um, did I get... I wonder if they got foundation. Um, oh, what is this? Um, I did get some sort of powder, but I don't know if I got foundation. This is powder. Yeah, it's a loose powder. So, um, I got this from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio Glow Baby, and it has five illuminating drops. Um, it reminded me of the, um, My mind went blank and I have it too. <laughs> um, what are those drops called? Um, I don't even know where they are. Shoot. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. You guys know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I don't remember the name. I, I, my mind is blank, blanking and I know I even have it too. Um, I don't know. It'll come back to me. Um, and then... I got this, um eyeshadow palette and block it's called blossom palette um and then this is a contouring palette um oh i did get it okay so i did get foundation so this is their silky matte liquid foundation in light beige spelled beige wrong though um yeah so i think oh i got new brushes let me get the whole brush set to me Oh, from um, Shop Miss A. I haven't tried these yet. Um, I've always wanted these in this container, honestly. Um, I think that's all I got. I mean, that's all, right? That's a lot. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to be doing a review, first impressions, um, get ready with me, all that jazz. Um, yeah with a lot of these products um yeah so stay tuned for that i'll see you guys in the next video bye